allow them to come and you. Because the enemy, when you don't forgive somebody, the devil, the devil will continue bringing to your mind and that's yeah. to get your mind. Yeah. Yeah. He's wicked. Yeah. That's to get your mind. And now you're angry, angry, full of anger, and you cannot pray right. Because the Bible said the right of man working not the righteousness of God. Because you'll forgive that person that, that did you wrong. You gotta forgive them and move on. And forgive them and move on. I don't care what they did. You gotta forgive them. Let them go. So you can let you go. Forgiveness is not for them. Forgiveness is to, is to lose you. It's to lose you, to free you. Because when you don't forgive them, you sit down and out of nowhere, here comes the devil bringing the name out. And now you're upset and mad and angry. I'm thinking how you can get even. Yes. But when you forgive them, you free them. And you free yourself. And the enemy can't use you, can't tempt you in that area no more. Because you close the door. Amen. He lifts it all. He said, God, give me more grace. Give me more grace. To forgive. To forgive. Those that hurt me. Those that hurt me. In Jesus' name. I receive grace. I receive grace. To forgive. To forgive. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Now today, I just want you to begin to let go and, <clears throat> and forgive those that did you wrong. Yes, forgive them. Forgive them. You are a believer now. You are not going to allow yourself to stay there trying to figure out why they did, did, did it. It's wasting time. Forgive them so you can move forward. Your future is brighter. There's something greater is waiting. It's waiting on you. You'll never get there if you don't let go. You never reach a view like this. The end will attach you and keep you connected to those bad stuff that happen. So you will not be able to grow and see what God has prepared for you. There's something great and better. I'm telling you. But until I learn to move from here to get there, you'll never know what God has for you there. You can't move until you forgive and let go. When you let go, you're free. And you can move. Amen. You see? Amen. Because then he has your home. And I say, come. Yeah. You can't move. move. You can't move. That's what I say. Come on, pray stop. Pray stop. What should you go? You can't move. You're stuck. You're stuck because of unforgiveness. You will not forgive somebody. Because somebody did you wrong, somebody hurt you. Yes, it is bad. Yes, it's bad. But you still have to forgive them. Amen. So you can move forward. Amen. You see what I'm saying? So you can move forward. Amen. The devil don't want you to move forward. That's why he wants you to keep that unforgiveness in your heart. You remember Stephen? When they were stoning Stephen to death. Stephen said, What? Well, no, Stephen said. My God, the man was was dying, and killed him. He should have been angry. So when Stephen is telling me for nothing, you were holy, but he still had that love and that grace. Say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That means he died with no, with all with all other unforgiveness in his heart. He lost them, and they didn't even know they was loose. They didn't even know they was loose because when he was saying it, he was dying, and he was losing them. My God, My God. Amen. And it's the same way. That, that he had the grace to forgive, God will give us the grace to forgive. 
and you move forward. That's why some people never get ahead because they always bring it back old, old, old package, old stuff. Old stuff happened 20 years ago. Why you come and go like that? 10 years ago, this is what you did to me. You'll never be healed. Because every time God tries to heal you, you take the stitches out. You rip it out. By bringing back in and saying, you know what? Y'all don't know what happened to me. Every one of us in here got testimony. Every one of us in here had something happen to you that should not happen to you. Amen. And you was not a cause of it. But you just it just ended up happening. But that means that you have the rights to hold them responsible. But you know, some of them then died. And you still hold on forgiveness. They died. You still hold on forgiveness. They're in the grave. He said, I, I hurt my great uncle. My uncle died 20 years ago. He don't even care. <laughs> and you stuck not moving forward because you're holding him for something that he did. I hate my auntie. But she did me wrong. Get over it. Have God is ask God for grace so you to overcome it. Amen. Pray for her and you move forward. But you won't want to be carrying that in your heart because it's not good for you. It's not good for you. Because where you're going is more greater and more brighter than where you're